Hey guys, it's Lunar. Welcome to this Resident Evil 7 collectibles guide and walkthrough. In this guide, we're going to take a look at how to complete each part of the game and the location of all the items and where to find them in order, including 20 Mr. Everywhere statues, 18 antique coins, and 32 files, all of which are needed for achievements and trophies in game. I'll also tell you how to solve all the puzzles, get keys, weapons, and more as well. So this video is about the items for the yard and the old house. If you have not done so, check out the previous videos for the items to the guest house and the main house. And so far from those videos, you should have 7 antique coins, 6 statues, a VHS tape and 13 files. If you're interested, all the items we find are listed in the description, including all the collectibles, but I also list some other stuff as well. So anyway, let's get into this. First up, we can explore the yard. There's not a lot here, but what there is is a lockpick directly in front of you where you start just on the steps. So we can go ahead and pick that up. Now around the corner from here is an antique coin just sitting inside of a plant pot hidden in the grass. We can get that and then head over to the trailer, which is actually a safe room. There's a bobble head here that I walk over, but I will get that in a second. The trailer is a safe room and so you can save the game here. Inside there's also another antique coin, a note and a broken handgun amongst other stuff. You can also spend your coins here on the bird cages to get some useful stuff for you in game. Now I'm going to go ahead and get that bobble head that we missed a second ago and it's just under the steps leading up into the trailer. Okay, so we can skip ahead now into the old house. Make your way through this part of the map, which actually takes you back outside into the swamp area, and you can head right here to find a lockpick. Once you've collected it, you can head up the ramp to the outhouse to find the first part of the flamethrower. From here, head back inside, go out back the way that we came into this room, and go forward to find a map of the old house. Continue on to the next room, past the projector, and outside again. Now on the left is the second part of the burner, so you can go ahead and pick that up and you can actually craft it. On your left here is a safe house. Inside you can find a new backpack that adds four more infantry slots, so that's very handy. And a Mr. Everywhere statue bobblehead is also inside here, so make sure that you destroy that. So guys, from here head back to the main entrance. On the right is the living room. Destroy all the bugs and enter the crawl space towards the cellar. In this hall, there's a bobblehead behind the crates on the left, or the pallets rather, and a coin to the left of the door. You can then enter into the cellar and pick up the statuette. You have to take this all the way to the projector inside of the gallery and unlock the door to the next room on the other side by making the spider shadow. Once you've done that, you will be on the other side of the house, and there are two directions to go here, but you can't get through the crow door just yet, but we can still read the note that's next to the door, so head up and pick that up. Head the other direction, which is the basement, to find a Mr. Bobblehead, and a crank which you can use to get back to the other side of the house, although we now need it for a bridge outside in the swamp, so head outside where I am on the map, and you will have to avoid Marjorie to get here. Head into the swamp and use your crank to raise up the bridge to the outhouse. Inside are the crow key and an antique coin. Once you've collected these, you can go back and unlock the crow door from earlier, and you will encounter a small battle against Marjorie here. Hopefully you have some flame fuel, as I didn't, and I had to fight off swarms of bugs with a knife, so that was pretty annoying. After that, go through the crow door to the altar room. Inside the altar room, open the case and read the documents inside. After you answer the phone, head left and into the room that has some burner fuel right beside it, and there is a file for you to read in here. Once you've done that, go out of here and into the next area to find the scale that needs a lantern and that we must get from Marjorie in a boss battle. In this room is another bobblehead and an antique coin inside of the drawer. Once you've collected, return to the hole with Marjorie inside of it and follow her. That pretty much covers all the collectibles for this section. You have a bit still to do. Unlock the detention room with the lantern after you defeat Marjorie in a boss battle. Explore more of the old house, but there are actually no more collectibles until we get back into the main house in the next video. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe for more Resident Evil 7 guides. Enjoy the rest of your day, stay awesome, and I will see you all next time.